Well, we've gotten some new word on a Birds of Prey sequel from Warner Brothers. Earlier today, we got a report that the sequel is in active development right now over at Warner Brothers. But there might be a very familiar face missing from the production. Let's talk about the story and what might be going on with the DC film sequel. Now, before we dive in, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. Also, don't forget about the big giveaway. We got a PlayStation 5 to give away at 25,000 subscribers. All you need to do to get in on the giveaway is be a subscriber and leave us a comment. And if you can, check out that Buy Me A Comic link down below. It's a pretty cool way to support this channel with a tiny bit of pocket change, all while creating no new obligations for yourself. We really appreciate it. Well, we've got a bit of an update for DC Films and the possibility of a Birds of Prey sequel. Now, before we dive into this, though, this is a story from the Hashtag Show and was reported by Professor Hulk. So, keep in mind, this isn't from DC or Warner Brothers directly, but this is another one of those sources that has a pretty good track record on the subject. Now, what's being reported is Warner Brothers has indeed greenlit a sequel to Birds of Prey, but there is a huge caveat. Apparently, the movie will not feature Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. This would actually explain why Margot Robbie has said the sequel is not in development, because she very well may not be involved in the project at all. Now, he makes it pretty clear in the report that there are no plot details available at this time, and the film's status as greenlit just recently changed. So apparently an outline is being worked on, and a script is actually a little ways off. But he does have a couple of details. Now, despite the film not having Harley Quinn as part of the team-up, it will actually be a continuation of the 2020 Birds of Prey movie, and will include Jerry Smollett's Black Canary, which I know will make a lot of fans happy. He does say that the Huntress and Renee Montoya were mentioned in the outline, but he saw no confirmation of that casting, but does go on to say that it's a pretty safe conclusion that Elizabeth Winstead and Rosie Perez would return in the role. Now, apparently, like in the comics, Batgirl will be part of this movie and a member of the Birds of Prey team. Although he does say in the report there was absolutely no mention of who was cast in the role. I tend to agree with the report though when he suggests that there's a strong possibility that Leslie Grace will actually be the person to play this character in the film, which creates all kinds of new questions about that upcoming Batgirl project. We were even given a few details about the villain. Apparently, the calculator will be the baddie for this film, with the third act appearance by his robot assassin, Burn Raid. The outline apparently says, like in the comics, the calculator will have an obsession with Barbara Gordon, and this obsession will prove deadly. Now, there's not a lot of other details about the movie, and considering they already have a Batgirl project in the works, it might be two or three years before we actually see this project come to the screen. Now, I know a lot of people might be disappointed at the fact that Margot Robbie is not coming back as Harley Quinn. That doesn't mean she's left the role. She was great in Suicide Squad. But if you're a fan of the comics, you already know she's not actually part of the Birds of Prey team. She's part of Gotham City Sirens. And with Catwoman being added to the current Batman project, and Margot Robbie herself making noise about Poison Ivy, I can't imagine somebody at Warner Brothers is not already considering this as a possibility. Now, like we said, this is a rumor report and comes from the hashtag show, not Warner Brothers or DC Films, so take it with a grain of salt. But this is a franchise I did expect them to expand, and this is really the way I would expect them to expand it. Not with Harley Quinn, but with Batgirl. What do you guys think? How do you feel about a Birds of Prey sequel with no Harley Quinn? And if they've dropped Harley from this team, what about her joining the Gotham City Sirens? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you're not getting any updates. Peace.